the wedding, I think, was eight, nine years ago? Nine years. Nine years almost to the day. <laughs> the only thing I would say is that, you know, if any, any of you women out there, be, be very, very careful. Because one of the things, I don't know whether it's a, as a result of being in Scotland, maybe the, the booze or the drink flowing a bit too freely, but um, a few people took the, uh, the whole point of a, or the, the theme of a wedding being the chance for friends to come together a little bit too literally. And uh, a fair few of them left with more than they arrived with. So uh, bear in mind that, you know, it's a, it's a fertile place up here. And, uh, <laughs> to Linda and her team for all the food and the drink, you know, we've been really, really chuffed about the... Uh, Uh, to Elaine and Tom for so many things, uh, sorting out the music, fantastic. I know, a lot of questions are over here, maybe not. Um, and to them with uh, Alan Kendall who organised the, the Cayley Band um, for us, even if they didn't manage to secure the services of the diminutive Australian outfit Cayley Minogue, and, uh, <laughs> nevertheless we're sure it would be a good, a good dance. Um, and to all of you here for the generosity of your gifts, I mean, we've been really touched by how much and, and how generous you've all been, because as, I, as we say, we really are massively thankful that you've all travelled all this way uh, to come and see us, and we really weren't expecting anything. And a special, you know, a special shout to the Desmond clan, um, to my boss, Frank, who, uh, in case you'd forgotten, you did promise me those couple of extra days holiday. <laughs> And to be honest with you, that's, that's made the world a difference. Right? <laughs> it's unpaid. <laughs> no, no, no change there. Um, to our mums, to Pat and Maureen, for all the effort and the, and the support that you've given us. Um, you know, it's been fantastic. Some of the some of the touches, some of the helps with, you know, the, the dresses and helping kitten out the bridesmaids and cupcakes and all that kind of stuff. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. So we really, really do appreciate your effort and we've got a little gift I think one of the glamorous twins <laughs> <laughs> I don't know quite where they're going <laughs> 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 This all counts. Yeah. 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 got 45, 50 minutes yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> 50 minutes with fun, everyone. I'm going to know where I'm going to run out of teeth. <laughs> have gone above and beyond today. Um, really lucky to have such good mates and, and have so many. Um, and you know it's been difficult to it's been difficult to really say in words and, and, and how much we've relied on you guys. Um, you know, Angus, Simon, Mark, Dom, you know you've been fantastic, you know, car parking skills once again. <laughs> <laughs> um, and to uh, Dave, you know, thanks very much for everything you've done. You've been an absolute rock, and for, for you know, for, for being MC, even if you are slightly economical with the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just got a little something to say thank you to, to the to the ushers. Take your time. Thank you very much. To the <laughs> Thanks so much to the bridesmaids, particularly to Neve and Eve, my wee pals. I, uh, no, I know this is, uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous and they're fantastic, and albeit that this is Wicker Man territory, um, <laughs> we, were, we were much relieved that Eve decided to come up in a dress rather than dressed as a witch on a bicycle, <laughs> which until an alarmingly uh, close period of time is what she was determined she was going to be wearing. <laughs> 
But she looks fantastic. They look fantastic. And to Lisa and to Kira and to Angela, you took a lot of heat off of me when it came to the shopping trips. Um, also for organising such a fantastic hen do uh, with one of the most, I think, amazing hen outfits that have ever been seen. Um, Picture. Yeah, pictures. Well, I don't know. I understand there are pictures. But anyway, there are, there are pictures to be circulated. So thank you so much for all your efforts. Um, I think it's a great break. <laughs> <laughs> Intermission. Tea break. <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much to the bridesmaids. You've been fabulous. Yeah. And finally to Jessica, who were fantastic with the bidding prayers and really bought a bit of glamour. <laughs> when a few of us, and you know, this is sort of testimony to how many old friends are here, when a few of us were 21, uh, we had a 21st birthday. And it was quite a big affair, and in that affair, one of our friends very kindly did a video for us. And in that video, they went around, unbeknownst to us, and spoke to all of our family and our friends, and took interviews and some of our te teachers about us, and um, it was quite an enlightening experience. Um, and there were some really lovely things that were said. And there was one particularly cheesy old bugger that said that I was extremely lucky to have the friends that I have. Um, and that with the sort of support network that I had with my friends, I would never go far wrong. And he's absolutely right. With so many of my old friends and family here, uh, you know, I really do feel blessed. But I think what I um, what he didn't mention was how lucky I was to have the family that I have. Um, I absolutely super lucky to have the parents that I have and the family that I have. Um, it's testimony to my mum and dad and how fantastic they are that Elaine, Al and I regard them very much as friends, best friends, more than parents. We love hanging out with you guys. Your generosity is unbelievable. Your support and assistance is fantastic. And frankly, um, you know, the, your considerate nature and how kind you've been to us is, is truly inspirational. And we really are chuffed to this. And I am particularly touched with how much you've done for us today and how much you've done in supporting me throughout my life. Um, so I'm very proud to have them as parents. Um, it would definitely not have been possible without their help today. And um, if we are lucky enough to have family, if I'm, you know, we have some very big shoes to fill in terms of bringing up our children. So thank you so much for everything. Um, and, uh, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, I'm a real chip off the old block. You're just as cheesy as you. <laughs> <laughs> and as for my best man, my wee brother, you've been fantastic. Um, I say that before you said that you've given your speech, but you know, oh, is, so far you've been fantastic. <laughs> uh, I really couldn't have had anyone else at my side today. Uh, had a fantastic stag do, courtesy of Al. Um, you know, he's been like a rock today. He's done everything he could over the last like, few weeks. Um, and being a year and a half, two years younger than me, he knows me better than most. We grew up together, um, you know, we've, we've fought together, we've got drunk together, we've laughed, we've cried, we've argued, we've done the whole lot, more than anyone else. And um, <coughs> frankly, you know, he's come up with some very good advice and some very sage words of advice, and sometimes even when I've asked for them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've been a massive support and, you know, absolutely fantastic to have you as a brother and, you know, fabulous for me to have you as a best man. When I was about four and I was about three, um, we were up in Stockton on one of, well, not that stage, but one of would be our many summer holidays up, in, up here. And it was Sunday and we had got kitted out by mum and dad in matching kilts and matching sandals and matching socks and matching shirts and matching cardigans. I think the cardigans were a different colour. And uh, it was last year. we got dragged along to church. And the minute that church finished, that was it. We were off down on the shore looking for cockles and crabs and splashing about. And it turned out that at that time...